There's a world of secrets the rich keep hidden from the rest of us, and trust me, they plan on keeping it that way. Why? Because as long as some of you stay in the dark, they'll always have people willing to work under them, fueling their ever-growing empires. It's all part of their game, hoarding wealth while others grind away. But here's the twist. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain and exposing the money rules the rich don't want you to know. Buckle up, because once you know these, there's no going back. Welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. If you enjoy the video or learn something new, please give it a like. Rule number one, the rule of protection. Have you ever wondered why you get up every morning and go to work? Most likely, it's not because you love waking at the crack of dawn and dragging yourself from bed, or having your boss micromanage you and breathe down your neck all day. And it's definitely not to sit and rush our traffic for 30 minutes in the morning and again on the way home from work in the evening. Most people have a job to put a roof over their heads and food on the table. And maybe, just maybe, they'll have something left for retirement in 30 years. And while most people can make money, they lack the skill of protection and delay their path to financial freedom more than they need to. So what does the skill of protection entail? It's about protecting your money from the things that chip away at it dollar by dollar. It could be that brand new car you've been eyeing which will take six long years to pay off. Or it's the McMansion your partner wants, the one that looks like every other cookie cutter, overpriced house on the market. Then there's the keeping up with the Joneses mentality. The urge to buy things just to impress your neighbors or friends. You must resist these temptations as they only derail you from achieving financial freedom. What truly separates the rich from the poor is their mindset about money. Being smart with your finances is what prevents you from going broke. Just like you can't fill a bucket full of holes, you can't out-earn bad money management. Rule number two, the rule of time. As the late Steve Jobs often said, the most precious resource we all have is time. Unfortunately, most individuals don't understand how time plays a role in accumulating wealth. As a result, most people will spend most of their lives in a state of financial mediocrity or worse, trading hours for dollars. But those who do master time also tend to master money. If you work an hourly job, for example, you're trading that one hour of time for whatever you get paid for that hour. So unless you make a ridiculous hourly wage, you'll probably never get rich working a job that pays you by the hour. The rich figured this out long ago. That's why most low-wage jobs pay their workers by the hour. They don't want you to get rich, and this pay scale keeps it that way. Another thing about time is that the older you get, the less you have of it. If you have kids or a spouse, those take up your time and you can't leverage someone else's time to get you out of being there for loved ones. However, the rich find other ways to manage their time. They look beyond their own 24 hours to build wealth. If you look at the wealthiest people in the world, most are business owners who have leveraged other people's skills, capital, time, and expertise. It's mainly how they got and stayed rich in the first place. For instance, if you're trying to learn a new skill, that will take time and there's no way around it. But once you become more successful, you can pay people to do things you shouldn't waste time doing. For instance, you rarely see a millionaire cutting his own grass or changing the oil in their car. It's just not worth their time. Building wealth becomes much easier once you wrap your head around how to capitalize on time, both your own and others. Real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, please tap that like button as it helps get this info out to more people like you and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you aboard. Rule number three, the rule of minimal savings. As kids, we were taught that a penny saved is a penny earned, but what we weren't taught was how inflation works. As we save money each year, its value decreases due to inflation. For example, if you stuck $1,000 under your mattress 10 years ago, that $1,000 would only have the buying power of $732 in today's money. Understanding this phenomenon underscores the importance of financial literacy. It also highlights the need to adapt our saving and investment strategies to combat the effects of inflation over time. It's not just about accumulating money, it's about preserving and growing its real value in an ever-changing economic landscape. So, is saving money wrong? Well, yes and no. Let's go over why you should save money first. Every person should have what's called an emergency fund. This is only to be used for extreme circumstances, such as a major vehicle repair or a housing expense like meeting your hot water tank or furnace replaced. It's not there, so you can buy a new iPhone or gaming console. Try to get three to six months worth of living expenses put away for a rainy day. However, while saving for emergencies is crucial, it's also essential to consider the bigger financial picture. Beyond just saving, investing your money wisely can offer better returns and help you beat inflation. Your money should go toward investments that will grow your wealth, such as stocks, bonds, index or mutual funds, cryptocurrency, or real estate. For example, if you invested $1,000 into an index fund that tracks the S&P 500 10 years ago, that $1,000 would now be worth $2,634. Or, if you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin 10 years ago, which would have bought you 50 Bitcoins, it would be worth $2.8 million. It's never been easier to invest and you can do it 24 hours a day from your smartphone. 
If you're looking for a place to buy stocks, index funds, or crypto, check out the Webull link in the description or in the top comment pinned for this video. With my special link, you can get up to 12 free stocks just for opening an account and depositing any amount. So take advantage of that sweet deal while it lasts. The rich understand that being truly wealthy isn't about owning a ton of meaningless things. Real wealth is about having freedom, not being indebted to anyone else, and not having to be told what to do by a boss. While it's nice to have expensive things, having financial security and freedom is much more rewarding in the end. Rule number four, the rule of strategic debt. Most people believe that all debt is bad, but the rich understand that not all debt is created equal. The key is knowing the difference between good debt and bad debt. Bad debt is when you borrow money to buy things that lose value over time, like a new car or that latest tech gadget. These items depreciate, meaning you're paying interest on something worth less the moment you buy it. On the flip side, good debt is used to acquire assets that generate income or appreciate in value, such as real estate or business. The rich use leverage, other people's money, to make more money. For instance, they might take out a mortgage on a rental property and use the rent to cover the mortgage payments while building equity in an appreciating asset. Strategic use of debt accelerates wealth building because it frees up personal capital for other investments, compounding returns. To adopt this mindset, you must shift from viewing debt as a burden to seeing it as a tool when applied correctly. Learning how to manage and grow wealth through smart leverage can be a game changer in your financial journey. Rule number five, the rule of multiple income streams. Relying on one source of income like a traditional nine to five job is one of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to build wealth. The rich know that true financial security comes from having multiple streams of income. This could include investments, rental income, side businesses, or even dividends from stocks. Having multiple income streams not only increases your overall earnings, but also provides a safety net if one source dries up. The goal is to diversify your income so that you're not overly dependent on one source to pay your bills. The more streams you have, the more financial security and freedom you'll enjoy. Additionally, having multiple income streams allows you to take more calculated risks, knowing you have other funds to fall back on if needed. The rich often reinvest earnings from one stream into creating new ones, further diversifying their wealth-building portfolio. By continuously expanding your income sources, you build a more resilient financial foundation for long-term success. Rule number six, the rule of adaptability. The wealthy are masters of adapting to change, whether it's in the economy, technology, or global markets. They don't cling to outdated methods or rely on past successes. Instead, they constantly evolve and look for new opportunities. When markets shift or industries transform, they pivot quickly, always staying ahead of the curve. While many people fear change, the rich understand that embracing it is essential for continued success. They stay flexible, ready to adjust their strategies as circumstances require. This ability to adapt is what keeps them thriving while others struggle to keep up. By remaining open to new ideas, the wealthy consistently explore emerging trends that others might overlook. They know that staying stagnant is the enemy of growth, so they're always seeking ways to innovate. Adaptability is not just a skill. It's a mindset that keeps them resilient through every challenge and economic cycle. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications.